Hey guys, uh, welcome back guys again. Uh, welcome back to Star Star Wars. Now with the Republic, every last stop. Now we're gonna talk with the Masters. We're gonna talk to the Master Torque. The, 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 the Master Torque is actually very similar to Master Yoda. Their voices is very, very the same. It is good to see Johnny has returned to the way of the light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Your actions give us great hope for the future. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now, it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorak recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Tantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. A Jedi must ever be seeking knowledge. What is it you wish to know? Bastila will be a great Jedi someday. Even among the Masters and the Council, it is rare to find one so skilled in the art of battle meditation. Bastila was there when Revan was slain. Did you know that? Bastila herself does not like to talk about it. She was accompanying the strike team that confronted Revan when the Dark Lord was destroyed. Her role in the death of such a promising young Jedi as Revan upset her greatly. But Bastila knew she had to set her personal feelings aside for the sake of the galaxy and the Republic. The Force is strong with her now. And without her skill in battle meditation, we would have lost this war long ago. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila. And for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. Okay, so... I can't even move her now. I just that part. I demand justice! The Central Family is a blight upon Dantooine! They must be punished! The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Metale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof. And we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals. If there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing. How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised, Alan Matali, we will look into a son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. If Shen Matali has not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. We must not allow that to happen. Your study and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in our real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. Not to mention that I wouldn't mind getting out of this enclave for a bit. I mean, come on, how bad could it be? I agree with you, man. This is just annoying in here. All the preaching and all the fucking god is annoying. Oh, there's Johanny. Let's talk to Johanny. Oh yeah, I can't remember last time. Can last I, time. I forgot to save the game. What? I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. I have spoken to the Council, and they have helped me see the truth. The truth about myself, and the truth of my actions. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. 
Quatra wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side, to see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. Quatra's methods may seem strange, but I trust her wisdom. This lesson has been difficult, but I am better because of it. Humility is never easy to teach, but now I truly understand my own limitations. After our last battle, Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide, you, back to the light. When I left, Quatra knew her work with me was done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy, and she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The Council now feels I am ready to continue with my training, though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. First the Jedi trick you into becoming an enemy, then they welcome you back as a friend. I can't say I approve of their training methods. Yeah. This has been a painful lesson, Juhani, but it seems you have learned it well. I'm certain you will be a credit to the Order. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. Yeah, sometimes I just, you know, like it's something I'd rather be take the gray side. I do some online research. I'd rather be the gray because humanity is eighty percent humanity. Most of humanity we are, we're all gray at the time. We can ex we can control our emotions, but I mostly prefer when you go as being gray. I actually want to wear other gears. This medium's heavy. My god. Wait. Hmm. Jedi defense flat requirements. Member Jedi's rope. Combat suit. Provincy. Oh, I see. I want. I want. I want. I want. Really want. I really want to cost my my saber really really well. Okay, doctor. How can I help? Yes, I can. This will be fun. It was less of a dream and more of a vision, a vision the two of us shared. But I am certainly willing to answer any questions the Jedi Council did not. Are you wondering why we shared the vision, or why we even received it in the first place? To the first, I can only repeat the answer that the Council gave us. Our fates are linked, and for two as strong as we are in the Force, that amounts to a near-physical bond. As to the second, I truly don't have an answer for you. The Force works as it will, and perhaps we should be grateful for what we've been given. I... I don't know. Believe me, I certainly don't find the prospect of being joined to you enjoyable in any fashion. Well... Well, these are... Then perhaps the sooner we see to our destiny, the sooner we can proceed on our separate paths. That seems a logical solution, no? What would you like to know? Not sure, like they being in my dreams. <laughs> oh yeah, that's actually awkward. Um. And are you so certain that it is not you in my dreams? Regularly, should be yes. I see. That is most likely vanity speaking, for I am not certain myself. Regardless, our fates are linked. The vision was no doubt meant for us both. <laughs> that is just so awkward. With luck, we will. I would rather not rely on such visions to guide us. But when we have so little else to go on, and the galaxy hangs in the balance. As you wish. We really should return our thoughts to business anyway. What about the card? Yes. Never mind. You got it. 
hate I hate asking the same questions. Now I'm gonna before I'm gonna go there I wanna do some other side missions. Yeah. They're actually all in the same path, that actually annoys me. Oh metal grounds. No, they're not the same, they're they're different. Oh they're actually Oh Okay, what's this? Madlurians! The fucking Madlurians. You've been holding out on us again. Since you haven't given us enough money, I guess we're gonna have to take it out of you piece by piece. No! Please! Take my wife and children instead! Anything! <laughs> ah, wife and children. Sounds like a good idea. Whoa. You shall fall. You shall fall. Assholes, my God. This is what I wanted. Plaster carnage, mother and dead pad. What? Mother and dead pad. Hmm. Oh, is that like a blaster rifle? Hmm. Hmm. Tara tara tara. Over there. But it wasn't here. Okay, so yeah. Mental droid. This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? You have come from the Jedi Council. Master Matali wishes to speak with you. I will inform him that you are here. Remain at this location until he arrives. Whoa. My protocol droid tells me you are here on behalf of the Council. I was beginning to think my demands had been ignored. Though I think your time would be better spent interrogating the Sandrals as to the whereabouts of my son, Shen. I have already told my story to the Council. Why did they not inform you of my circumstances? I did not expect such incompetence from the Jedi, but I shall repeat the tale once more. Many years ago, I brought my family here to Dantooine to escape the crush of humanity on the core worlds. Soon after we settled here, the Sandrals arrived, and they have been a plague upon my house ever since. Somehow I imagine the story from the Sandrals would sound just about the same, don't you? The injustices the Sandrals have committed against the Matales are far too numerous to name, but the Council is well aware of our many disputes. Recently I discovered several Sandral droids trespassing on my land. I have no idea what nefarious purpose lay behind their arrival. My own assassination, perhaps? Destruction of my property? Maybe a simple spy mission? I wasn't about to find out. My own security droids destroyed the invaders. Not a single one survived. It was shortly after this incident that Shen, my only son and heir to the Metali estate, vanished. Obviously, Nurik, the unscrupulous head of the Sandral clan, has abducted my son in retaliation for the destruction of his droids. Follow their stink south of here and you shall find them. I demand action on this matter, Jedi. 
Why does the council insist on stalling? The life of my son is at stake. Is it possible? Yes, of course. Now, I am a man of the world, Jedi. I know how things are done. I will make a contribution of a thousand credits to the council in exchange for rescuing Shen from the Sandals. I will present the credits directly to you, of course. Whether the council ever learns of this donation is completely up to you. Nevertheless, my offer still stands. A thousand credits for Shen's safe return. Know, however, that I will not sit idly by much longer. Eventually, I will take whatever action is necessary to rescue my son, including raising the entire Sandral estate. You would be willing to risk open war over this? It is the Sandrals who have started this, not I. And here I thought you would blame us if we failed. It seems everyone is responsible for your actions, except for you. I don't need to stand here and listen to such impertinence! I'm impressed, Karl. That interjection was very Jedi-like. What can I say? You pick up a few things. I'm afraid Alan is not just making idle threats. He is rash and foolish enough to attempt a full assault on the Sandral estate. Such action would result in an all-out war between the families. I've seen men like Alan Matali before. He's so convinced that his hatred is justified, he's prepared to do anything. And if we don't intervene, there will be war. Until you find Shen, Jedi, we have nothing further to discuss. I suggest you hurry south to their rest. Okay. Okay. And uh, an additional talking credits. Nah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take that one. Okay, south is that way. But south, north, south. Okay. True, once you learn something during the time, you actually learn stuff. Damn bone. Okay, I, I really want to fast forward a bit. I need more charisma for the next time I upgrade. Wife, take my wife and children. That's just sad, man. If I ran, I would just keep my mouth shut. That is just a weird setup right there. I think over there. So be it. <laughs> It's just annoying, I can get easily get killed here. Just hitting, keep hitting south, Sandal Ground. Here it is. So we're gonna see the game here, and you know. Yeah, we're gonna see the game here, just in case. Before we do anything, we're gonna do an investigation action here. We're gonna explore here quite a bit. Before we find any potential clues or any potential break ins. Or, oh, I mean, no break it, I mean. Justify action? Over that door over there. Hey, hey. I can just, I can just save the game if I wanted to. Central Droid. This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? The council. If you are here because of Shen Matale's disappearance, you are wasting your time. The Sandals are not involved. This is nothing but a Matale witch hunt. Really give the mantle. Nero had left orders he was not to be disturbed, but given the circumstances, I will make an exception. Go into the main hall. Okay. If I have to break in the entire building, I will. 
I have been informed by my protocol droid that you wish to speak to me. I brought my family here to find peace and safety, not to be harassed and treated like common criminals. Your council has no authority here, and I respectfully ask you to leave this property at once. Jedi are renowned for their fairness in pursuit of justice. There is nothing to fear from us, unless you have something to hide. That's quite a line. You actually believe that? Don't you think someone is allowed to value privacy? Privacy is all well and good, but justice must be valued higher. Is it not obvious to you that this man hides something? Actually, it is. All I'm saying is that not everyone welcomes the sight of a Jedi with open arms. Better get used to it. I Do. trust you will show yourself out? If not, my security droids will be sure to deal with you. Yep, definitely suspicious. 100% suspicious. You are here from the council, are you not? Looking for Shen Metale? My name is Rahasia. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. He is mad with grief and he is convinced the Metales are responsible. He's not thinking rationally. My father is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. You must understand that father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him, but there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. My father has kidnapped Shen Metale. He is holding him prisoner here in the compound. He feels this is a way to get back at the Metales, a way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassus. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. You don't think that perhaps there's more to look at here, do you? That maybe everything isn't what it appears? Of course not. It seems very simple to me. The Council must be allowed to decide the next step. No. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. He no longer even cares if the Metales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I am afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. Shen is an innocent victim in all this. My father is not a bad man, but his grief has driven him to madness. He must be stopped. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the rear of the estate. You and Shen can make your escape through there. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. Alan Metale and my father have had problems ever since they settled on this world. To hear my father tell it, Alan is a brute and a bully, but a rich one. He feels his credits give him the right to step all over normal people. My father stands up to Alan because no one else will. But now he thinks Alan has taken my brother Cassus and has imprisoned Shen as revenge. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. What the fuck with this? My only hope is actually similar to Star Wars in the part five. Was it part four, part five of that episode? Six, six part four, episode four, episode five. It's like a really good episode, you know, to my point of view. I just love to hear curing myself up. Revenge or something, guys. 